I want to jump right in. I have to say, in preparing for this hearing, I was uh, surprised, if not stunned, uh, at how we're approaching uh, our messaging and our counter-messaging, frankly. Um, I find it clearly that there are about 2.9 million Muslims living in the United States, and half of them are under 30. We're talking about a very young population. Now, I agree with Senator Peters, the overwhelming 99 point whatever percent are good young people that reflect uh, the rest of the population. But we're dealing with a population of young people that are online and engaged in an extraordinary manner. And in the Middle East, you have even a greater percentage of people that are under 30 years old. And the new form of communication is social media. 90% of Americans aged 18 to 29 use social media. Uh, 9 in 10 18 to 29 year olds watch online video and almost half of them, that's where they get their news. And uh, I know a little bit about social media, I have to say. And when I started going around to the sites that we have uh, in our various uh, agencies, DHS, uh, 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 National Counterterrorism, State Department, uh, I was shocked at what we're doing in counter messaging. I want to pass this iPad around to my, uh, to, my, uh, to my colleagues. And two things to take note of, there are two tabs at the top and you could toggle between. One is just a YouTube video, and we up, there's hundreds of hours going on up every minute on YouTube. And the videos that they're doing are incredibly slick, fancy, uh, and uh, attractive. You're a bunch of uh, extremist terrorists giving out things to kids and sharing the like. If you toggle back over to the United States and what we're doing, here is the Think and Turn Away uh, website by the Department of State. If you look, if you know anything about social media, the one of the things you should look at is the engagement of uh, people on our social media feeds, and it's laughable. Uh, uh, three retweets, two retweets. Now, if you think about this, uh, last year, or at least fiscal year, 2000, fiscal year 13, and if you can pass this down to my colleagues, we spent $196 million on the Voice of America. So this is old school media. It's radio and the like. And, and I, well, maybe, Mr., maybe Mr. Gerstein Ross, maybe you know, how much money did, are, we, are we investing and appropriating for social media counter messaging? Uh, they, they don't specifically uh, budget out social media separately, but it's clear that it's, it's a small percentage of, of what's being done. And further, as you point out, um, you know, a lot of times what, what we push out via social media um, is very crude. I mean, crude is a, is a generous statement. Uh, um, you know, you said a wonderful phrase. You said we need to compete at the speed of social media. Mr. Bergen, you said in your written testimony that the one thing that uh, unifies these folks is that they're age and that they're online. And you would think that if, if this is one of the threats, when we've asked counterterrorism people here from the United States, what's their biggest concern is domestic lone wolf uh, individuals, that this is where the majority of them are uh, 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 getting uh, radicalized, which is online in social media, and if we have an inadequate uh, uh, response to that, it, it's 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 very frustrating. Now, uh, if I, Mr. Mr. Uh, um, uh, Sheikh, am I pronouncing that right, uh, sir? Your 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 work is incredible. I see you online trying to push back on this. There are easy tactics. I know them, as you said, from politics how to get more voice and virality to messaging that we're not using as a government uh, to get counter messages out there. You have, you know, I know something about memes, the data that you're presenting about Muslims killing Muslims, and this is a group that's killing more Muslims, to get memes to go more viral. Look at their fancy memes compared to what we're not doing. And so I, I just want to start with Mr. Bo uh, Mr. Sheikh. I mean, you're trying, it looks like to me that you're trying to do uh, counter messaging uh, but we have a government that's spending millions and millions of dollars on old school forms of media and, as you said, Mr. Gerstein Ross, very crude uh, uh, social media efforts. Um, what, could, what do you imagine could be done if we were going to do an effective social media online counter messaging effort? Uh, thank you very much. Um, you know, in, uh, in some kind of defense to the uh, Center for Strategic Counterterms and Communications, uh, they have a very small group of people. They're trying to contest the space, uh, and and they're they're trying to do something. And I and I get that. And and yes, crude is a is a very polite statement. Um, look, at the end of the day, if you want to fight back against uh, recruitment of 15 year old kids, you need to work with 15 year old kids. Um, when I see my own kids, uh, 
showing examples of what affects them and what motivates them and what resonates with them, it tells me that this is exactly what you need to do. Uh, talk to the kids. They, they can do a really good job. Uh, with respect to producing material, um, you, know, you know, one of the comments that I said was, I mean, really, I, I feel that it is unacceptable, uh, especially given, I mean, you have Hollywood in the U.S. I mean, you have people who, you don't even need to go at that level. I mean, maybe this is something that should be done to go at that level. I mean, to blow the production capabilities out of the water. Um, but even college levels, high school kids to be given projects for them to do, um, you know, just as part of a, a school project, as part of a civic engagement process, um, even Muslim organizations. I mean, maybe you have NGOs who could fund um, pro, uh, uh, projects within the community to come up with these sorts of things. Uh, the government is really um, not well placed other than uh, if you were to take it to the covert level of psychological operations and then you do have individuals who, who, who know influence activities, uh, who know to generate stuff which, which they can deploy but in a more covert manner. So again, multiple layers, uh, there is a way to do it but... And, and, and Mr. Bergen, I have very little time left. But when I was mayor of Newark, we saw that the mentions of our city were incredibly negative. And we set out on social media and used a simple sentiment analysis to see that engagement in social media began to change the brand of our city. Uh, um, and I'm just wondering, you talk a little bit in your testimony about crowding out uh, the negative messages, and I've seen people do this in many different forms. There's lots of different strategies. H how do you characterize what we are doing to crowd out the negative messages, to arm uh, many of the people within the American Muslim community and others to, uh, to sort of compete within this space to begin to push other messages? How would you describe our, our attempts? And is there a better way to centralize and coordinate across numerous agencies a, a better push for the United States? Uh Nason is how I characterize what we're doing. I mean, NCTC has uh, been doing some of this work and trying to work with some of the uh, tech companies and the Muslim American community. But, you know, there's a kiss of death problem with the U.S. government being involved. So it has to be hands off. Um, and it is beginning. Uh, we don't want to, it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, there are people out there doing the kind of work that's, ne that's necessary, sir. Okay. Chairman, thank you very much.